Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Insha'Allah, today we are going to start chapter one, listening to. Chapter one, listening to. Del Hassa Tania, fi chapter one. Facial recognition. Facial recognition. Lowa ta'aruf ala al-wash. Taban bistirdam il-AI. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence can recognize your face. This is called facial recognition. التعرف على الوجه. Let's start. Listening to lecture facial recognition software. Before you listen, discuss the questions in small groups. في عندي مجموعة أسئلة. Question one, question two, question three. Have you ever noticed cameras in public areas? Public areas like malls, like airports. فلاحنا بنشوف cameras في the public areas, malls, in airports. What are they used for? إيه استخدامات ال cameras in public areas? Question number two. Are there pictures of you on the internet with your name or other personal information? Taban, this is a big problem to upload your pictures on the internet. مشكلة كبيرة لما أنت بتعمل upload your pictures, upload your pictures on the internet. لما بترفع صورك على the internet with your name and other personal information, you have to limit this. Describe how artificial artificial intelligence or AI is used in the images. إزاي بيستخدموا ال AI الذكاء الاصطناعي أو ال artificial intelligence in the images. You can stop the video for one minute at least and think of these pictures. زي ما انتم شايفين في الصورة uh, this is public place زي ما انتم شايفين على السكرين someone is passing في واحد بيمر من على الشاشة زي ما انت شايف الشاشة دلوقتي بدأت تقرأ كل البيانات قرأت بياناته قرأت ال ID بتاعته زي ما انتم شايفين كده ال ID 712 ده ال ID of this person هنا ال age قرأت عمره ان هو 39 وان هو male فبمجرد ان انت passed on the camera it can get a lot of information about you uh, the camera can get your ID ممكن الكاميرا تجيب ال ID your age, your gender, and here also, yes, here, this person is walking in the mall, هو ماشي في المول, الكاميرا هنا جابت له, وحددت له the kind of clothes he can wear, حددت له نوع الملابس اللي ممكن يرتديها, هنا, this is a suit, من مجرد ان الكاميرا collected some information about him, وعشان هنا, جابت له هنا, متعملة له هنا ad, اللي هو advertisement, وضحت له اعلان, الإعلان ده في اللي هو the most suitable clothes he can wear ومتحدد له سعر السوت سعر البدلة فالشخص ده ممكن على طول ينتبه للأدفرتايزمنت ويختار this kind of clothes هي فهدي فكرة الفيشال ريكوجنيشن سوفتوير I have written a simple paragraph أنا كتبت فقرة بسيطة توضح لك قصة كاميراز in public places. أنا كتبت هنا cameras are noticed in public places, especially in airports. لو المطارات. They are used for different purposes, such as security and advertisements. ممكن يستخدم الكاميرا في security. طبعا في airports عشان عملية الأمان. And we can use it for advertisements. استخدمها في الإعلانات زي ما أنت شايف هنا كده. In this picture and in this picture. In malls, cameras are used to recognize the person's weight and the age. زي ما نشاهد في الصورة التانية. جابت هنا الage عمره. جابت الid. جابت الgender. So, cameras are used to recognize the person's weight and the age to decide on the most suitable ads. Ads means advertisements. لو الإعلانات. For that person. In airports, 
cameras are used for security. طبعا دي مستخدمة من زمان كاميرات بتستخدم للسكيورتي in airports. So again, in airports, cameras are used for security purposes such as the ability to identify criminals, AI or artificial intelligence, the Kalastanai, plays a great role in that field. So our lesson today is about facial recognition software. Let's go on. Language focus, negative prefixes. What is the meaning of prefixes? Yani kilmit prefixes. Prefixes are letters that are added to the beginning of words to form new words with different meanings. هي عبارة عن حروف تضاف في بداية الكلمة وبتغير معنى الكلمة. The prefixes in the following chart create a negative or opposite meanings. هنا ال prefixes anti, des, l, m, n, er, un. بنستخدم ال prefixes to get the opposite or negative meaning of the word. كل ال prefixes دي بتجيب عكس الكلمة. يعني كلمة anti عكس الكلمة opposite. This for example here antivirus, antisocial, dishonest, dissatisfied, illogical, illiterate, imperfect, immature, inactive, inconvenient, irregular, irrelevant, unusual, uncommon. Here in the table, and look at the jadwal, excuse me. الجدول هنا أنا كاتب الكلمة and the opposite باستخدام ال prefix يعني virus antivirus social antisocial honest dishonest satisfied dissatisfied logical illogical literate illiterate perfect imperfect mature immature active inactive convenient inconvenient regular irregular relevant irrelevant you can stop the video for one minute and read these words again ولازم تعرف in anti des l m n er un get the opposite or the negative meaning of the word دي كلها بنسميها prefixes to get the negative or the opposite meaning of the word. كلها عبارة عن بادئات بتحول إلى عكس الكلمة. طبعا أنت عندك الكلمات مكتوب معناها أقرأهم المرة الأخيرة virus, antivirus, social, antisocial, honest, dishonest, satisfied, dissatisfied, logical, illogical, literate, illiterate. Perfect, imperfect, mature, immature, active, inactive, convenient, inconvenient, regular, irregular, relevant, irrelevant. لازم تحاول تحفظ spelling of these words. احفظ ال spelling الكلمات دي to use them later in your essay or to understand reading the text. دائما الكلمات دي بنحفظها عشان تقدر تستخدمها في الرايتنج وفي نفس الوقت لو جات لك في قطعه ريدنج تقدر تفهم قطعه الريدنج. Let's go on. Now, negative prefixes. Here you have from number one to number 10. These are the words appear, happy, depressant, responsible, appropriately, able to, legal, likes, credibly, possible. Listen to the audio with the active and in your course book or hold your pen and paper. What is the correct prefix? Listen, correct prefix Listen. Negative prefixes. One, disappear. Two, unhappy. 
Three, antidepressant. Four, irresponsible. Five, inappropriately. Six, unable to. Seven, illegal. Eight, dislikes. Nine, incredibly. Ten, impossible. Listen again. عشان اللي فاتته كلمة ما قدرش يعصلها. Listen again. اسمع مرة تانية وانتبه هل ال prefix anti this l m n r انتبه لل prefix again. Negative prefixes. One, disappear. Two, unhappy. Three, antidepressant. Four, irresponsible. Five, inappropriately. Six, unable to. Seven, illegal. Eight, dislikes. Nine, incredibly. Ten, impossible. Let's check your answers. Now, the first one, disappear. Number two, unhappy. Number three, antidepressant. Number four, irresponsible. Number five, inappropriately. Number six, unable to. Number seven, illegal. Number eight, dislikes. Number nine, incredibly. Number 10, impossible. These are all prefixes, negative prefixes. Let's go on. These are the words and the negative or the opposite meaning. Appear, disappear, happy, unhappy, depressant, antidepressant, responsible, irresponsible, appropriately, inappropriately, able to, unable to, legal, illegal, likes, dislikes, credibly, incredibly, possible, impossible. You can stop the video for one minute to read them again. Make sure to understand these words and their meanings. أكد من أنت فاهم الكلمات وفاهم معناها. You can stop the video for one minute until you read them again. لو أنت معاك paper and pen, stop the video. وقف الفيديو. وابدأ اكتب الكلمات دي مرة. Appear, disappear, happy. Unhappy, depressant, antidepressant, responsible, irresponsible, appropriately, inappropriately, able to, unable to, legal, illegal, likes, dislikes, credibly, incredibly, possible, impossible. لازم تكتب الكلمات. لازم تكتب الكلمات. A paper and a pen. وقف الفيديو. اكتبهم الأول في دقيقة أو في دقيقتين وبعدين ارجع كمل الفيديو مرة تانية عشان تقدر تستفيد من الحصة بشكل كامل. Let's go on. Now vocabulary. You have underlined words. What is asked here? It's asked to write a definition. المطلوب منك to write a definition to the underlined words. المفروض أنت هتكتب definition تعريف للunderlined words. لكن أنا اخترت إن أنا أكتب لك سينونيم مش حابب إن أنا أكتب تعريف كبير للكلمة أنا حابب إن أنا أعطيك a different uh, word for this word which is called synonym 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 معناها similar meaning synonym اللي بنسميها المترادفة عشان لما أجي لك كلمة synonym in reading 
questions تجي لك في سؤال في الريدنج تبقى عارف يعني ايه معنى كلمة synonym synonym مترادفة فأنا هنا في السؤال ده I did not give a complete definition ما أعطيت تعريف كامل ولكن أنا جبت synonym اللي هو مرادف للكلمة عشان يبقى عندك two meaning or two words for the same meaning Now we are going to listen to the underlined words from the audio هنسمع ال underlined words بعد كده نبدأ نتناقش مع بعض. Underlined words are here in the table. أنا كتبتهم مرة تانية في التيبل في الجدول وعندك المعنى بالعربي عشان يساعدك لو أنت حابب تحفظهم. لازم تحفظ الكلمات دي. Now let's listen. Vocabulary A big deal Artificial intelligence Aspect Database Display Embarrassing Fraud Freedom Measure Monitor Recognition With بعض الطلبة بتسأل أنا ليه بشغل ال listening for vocabulary twice؟ ليه بشغله مرتين؟ You have to read words properly. You have to pronounce them correctly. لازم تنطق الكلمات بشكل صحيح عشان تثبت في ذهنك وتقدر تحفظ الكلمات دي and use them again. When you recall them لما تبدأ تستدعيهم تمام it will be easier for you. So let's listen to the audio again. Vocabulary. A big deal. Artificial intelligence. Aspect. Database. Display. Embarrassing. Fraud. Freedom. Measure. Monitor. Recognition. With. Now let's go to the sentences. Number one. Winning the championship was a big deal for the team and its fans. So the word a big deal. A big deal means a generous deal. A generous deal. Safka Kobra. A generous deal. As a matter of fact, Marco Shabab, and I have a definition and I have a synonym. And I have an interdictive synonym of the minute to have done to our rough ilkelm. So a big deal is a generous deal. Artificial intelligence enables the computer to play chess against a human opponent. So artificial intelligence is the callous to know. Yani artificial intelligence. Yani robotics. Robotics. Yani expert system. But it's better to say or to write artificial intelligence. Al Avdal in an active artificial intelligence. Lakin the synonym is expert system or robotics. Engineers will check every aspect of the bridge's design. Before approving it, so the word every aspect, the word aspect means every feature, every trait. So aspect means feature, aspect means trait. Only employees have access to information that is stored in the bank's computer database. So the word database means database means directory index. So this means a place where you can. Store information. The place where I'm storing the information. The rules of the game. So the synonym is directly or index. The students are going to display their artwork in the halls of the school. So display means display means to show, to present. So the word display means show or present. I find it very embarrassing to speak in public. 
So my face turns red. So I feel embarrassing or embarrassed. So embarrassing means discomfort. This comfort. Embarrassing means discomfort. And you can see the meaning in Arabic. Jim was a victim of fraud, fraud, fraud. Someone pretended to be him and used his credit card. So the word fraud means deceit. Fraud means deceit. When you work for yourself, you have the freedom to make your own decisions. You have the freedom, you have the liberty, you have the choice choice or liberty. We need to measure the room to make sure the carpet is the right size. So the word measure means to calculate the area of. To measure the room, to calculate the area of the room. Number 10, there are many cameras along the highway that are used to monitor the traffic. So monitor means to screen the traffic to control, used to control, to screen, to monitor. Number 11, I remember the hair from high school and smiled in recognition. Smiled in recognition means in respect, in appreciation. smiled in recognition. smiled in respect, smiled in appreciation. So recognition here means respect or appreciation. The sofa was too large to fit through the width of the door. So the word width means size or measurement. The size of the door or the measurement of the door. It's very important to keep these words and use them in your writing. Ustagdama for writing, a big deal, artificial intelligence, aspect, database, display, embarrassing, fraud, freedom, measure, monitor, recognition, width. Let's go on. Now, skills, focus, or sign posting. Sign posting, um, sorry, sign posting at the beginning of your speech means Telling your audience what you are going to say and what your purpose is. For example, and the sign posting what you are going to say and what is your purpose of your speech. For example, I am going to explain, explain something. Kilmit but then is going to complete. I am going to tell you about, I am going to argue that. sign posting what the writer is going to say and what is his purpose. Here, for example, in my speech today, I am going to explain what facial recognition technology is and some of the positive ways that we can use it. But then, in the second part of my speech, I am going to tell you about some negative aspects of this technology, especially the negative impact on privacy. Privacy, privacy. You can pronounce it privacy or privacy. It means privacy or privacy. Privacy, and I am going to argue that this technology is something that we and the government need to control very carefully. And a sign posting tells your listener, sign posting, sign posting, I am going to explain, but then I am going to tell you about, I am going to argue that. Sign posting tells your listener the important points, the important points, they should listen for and help them get ready to take notes. And then the sign posting there and tab henna tahud notes. Be sure to include sign posting whenever you give a speech. Again, sign posting. I am going to explain, explain but then 
I am going to tell you about, I am going to argue. Argue means to discuss. Argue, discuss, Yineesh. I am going to argue that. It will be some mom sign posting and you can use them when you give a speech. Speech, and talk a kalima, speech. Let's go on. Now, you are going to listen. Listen and take notes. You are going to listen and take notes. And that is my, we take notes. While you are listening, you are going to listen and take notes. أنا في الأكتيفيتي ده أنا ما حلتوش ما حلتش الأكتيفيتي ده. You are going to listen and take notes. You can send your notes in the comment. ارسل النوتس اللي أنت أخذتها في الكومنت. زي ما إحنا قلنا whenever you listen to an video مش شرط يا شباب إن you understand 100% of the audio. مش المطلوب منك أنت تفهم 100% 100% من الأوديو. لكن you can take notes from your understanding to the audio. فعشان كده أنا مش هكتب الإجابات أنا خليك تسمع وبعدين take your notes and send your notes in the comment. Let's listen to the first one. كل ده بيتكلم على face recognition. Face recognition. تبين المعلومات دي لأنك you can use them when you write an essay. هتنتبه المعلومات دي عشان تستخدمها لما تيجي تكتب essay. Okay, now let's listen to the audio. Taking notes and outlining one. I want you to imagine this situation. Let's say you're at a shopping mall. You walk by one of those digital advertising screens and you decide to stop and look. Suddenly, an ad appears for running shoes, followed by an ad for men's deodorant, and then one for an energy drink. It's like the sign knows that you're a 20-year-old guy who loves sports. Well, guess what? It does know. That's because um, when you looked at the sign, a computer scanned your face and selected ads that matched your age, gender, and body. The technology that does this is called facial recognition software. In my speech today, I'm going to explain what facial recognition technology is and some of the positive ways that we can use it. But then in the second part of my speech, I'm going to tell you about some negative aspects of this technology especially the negative impact on privacy. And I'm going to argue that this technology is something that we and the government need to control very carefully. Okay, to begin, what is facial recognition software? Well, actually, there are two kinds of facial recognition technology that work using artificial intelligence. One kind can recognize human faces but it's unable to identify who the person is. This is the kind of software that I mentioned in my introduction. It has been used in advertising for over a decade and is continuously developing. For example, some software is now able to recognize a person's mood from very happy to very unhappy. This can be used to help companies understand how customers respond to their advertisements. Okay. Now, the second kind of software does have the ability to recognize who you are. It works by measuring the distance between your eyes, the shape of your nose, the width of your mouth, etc. And it's really useful for security. In Canada, for example, since 2018, facial recognition technology has been installed at all international airports to monitor passengers. It can also be used by police to identify criminals when they are caught on camera. Now, I can imagine what you are thinking. Facial recognition software is great. It can help businesses sell products and it can help ensure safety and fight crime. What's wrong with that? Well, I agree that those are excellent applications of facial recognition software. Now we're going to listen to the second audio to take notes. I am pointing to the space if I am pointing like this, this means he's talking about this point. When I move the cursor, this is moving to the next point. So let's listen to the second audio. Taking notes and outlining two. The problem is that facial recognition software also has the potential to take away your privacy. I mean, everybody here has a Facebook account, right? I read that each day, 350 million photos get posted to Facebook. 
So there is probably a photo of you, either on Facebook or somewhere else on the internet. And that photo probably has your name and other personal information attached to it. So let's say you're walking down the street and a camera takes a picture of you. Someone could use facial recognition software to match that image to your photo on the internet. And in that way, they can get your name, your age, your city, your likes and dislikes, your employment history, and all kinds of other private information. Maybe you think that this is not a big deal, but to me, well, I think it's dangerous. Imagine a world where a picture of your face could allow complete strangers to find out about you and use this personal information inappropriately. Fraud and identity theft are serious issues these days. And remember those digital ads in malls that I talked about at the beginning? Imagine if those screens could match your face with your medical history and display an ad for an antidepressant or heart medication right there for anybody to see. I think that would be incredibly embarrassing, don't you? All right, so if you are concerned about protecting your privacy, what can you do about it? Well, there are two things you need to do right away. First, try to limit the number of photos online that are connected with your name. Like, don't let people tag your photos on Facebook. In the second place, it's essential to support laws that protect people's privacy. In Europe and Canada, for instance, organizations have to get your permission before they're allowed to store your photo or information about you in their databases. And they are expected to keep this information secure. That means they cannot use it in any way that might be considered irresponsible or illegal. But we don't have a law like that in the US and I think we should. In conclusion, facial recognition software already exists and it is impossible to go back in time and make it disappear. So if you care about your privacy and want to keep your freedom to walk down the street without strangers knowing all your secrets, then you and the government should take steps to control it before it's too late. Now write down your answers and send them in the comments. Put your answers in the comment. اللي جابتها في الكومنت وانا اشوفها ان كانت صح ولا خطا لان لازم في كل حصه شباب لازم اسيب لكم شيء كده ان انت تو دو ات يور سيلف. Let's go to the next activity. Again, we have the same words, aspects, databases, display, fraud, inappropriately, intelligence, measures, monitor, recognition, security, unable, width. You understand the meaning of these words? You can stop the video for one or two minutes. وقف الفيديو لمدة دي أو دقيقتين فكر في الكلمات دي وانت أكيد عرفت معناها قبل كده وابدأ fill in the missing parts ابدأ كمل في ال missing parts or missing words okay you can stop the video now and after two minutes come back to the video again okay here there are two types of facial facial what two types of facial recognition software that work using artificial, artificial what? Artificial intelligence. They are able to recognize human faces, which has both positive and the negative, positive and the negative aspects. The first type recognizes general characteristics, the wasifat, sifat, such as age, gender, and the body shape. However, it's or it is it is what it is unable to identify who the person is this software is used in advertising of the internet for example if you pass by a smart screen your smart camera smart screen it can it can display Ads, ads means advertisements that are selected especially for you. زي ما شوفنا في الصورة الأولى لما اختار له the suit اختار له البدلة. The second type of software is able to identify a person 
it, it what? It measures the distance between the eyes. بيقيس المسافة اللي ما بين العين. The, the what? The width of the mouth and the shape of the nose. Then it compares the face with photos that are stored in databases. قانون الصورة اللي سمارت كاميرا أخدتها بالصورة اللي موجودة على الداتا على الداتا بيسز على قاعدة البيانات. This technology is used for is used for what for security. تم قلنا قبل كده في الأيربورتس. For instance, it can it can monitor to record can monitor passengers at airports and help the police identify criminals. However, the software has the potential to be dangerous if it is used if it is used what inappropriately. The camera is used in a inappropriately شكل غير مناسب. Strangers, الغرباء. Strangers could use your personal information to commit fraud. Commit fraud. Aspects, databases, display fraud inappropriately. Intelligence, measures, monitor, recognition, security, unable, width. You have to keep these words. The moment of the video and hold your pen, your paper, and write them once. Keep them once. Keep the words once so that you can remember them. Let's go on. Thinking critically. Uh, were you convinced by the lecture? Are you convinced by the lecture? By the lecture, we heard about face recognition, or the smart cameras, smart screens. What is your view of facial recognition technology? And the Iraq facial recognition technology. Does your country have laws? هل الدول عندنا فيها laws قوانين that require organizations to get your permission? إن المنظمات أو الشركات اللي فيها تأخذ ال permission تأخذ الإذن before they store information about you in their databases. Are you concerned? About your privacy, هل أنت مهتم بالبرايفسي الخصوصية on the internet and the social media? In what ways can we protect ourselves? كيف نحمي نفسنا online and prevent fraud? I have written a simple paragraph, or I answered in, answered the questions. Question one, question two, question three. Question one. As you know, it doesn't matter if I am convinced by facial recognition technology. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. مش مهم. It doesn't matter if I am convinced by facial recognition technology. Since it has become a necessity, خلاص ال facial recognition دي أصبحت necessity ضرورة for at least security purposes. The wheel of progress never goes back. عمر عجلة التقدم ما بترجع للخلف يا شباب. The wheel of progress never goes back. So it doesn't matter if I am convinced or not. Facial recognition technology will be used at least at airports for security purposes. فسواء أنت مقتنع أو غير مقتنع convinced or not facial recognition technology will be used because the wheel of progress عجلة التقدم Never goes back. We can never go back in time. Number two, sure, some organizations need permission to store your information in their databases. يعني بعض الشركات بعض الهيئات لازم تأخذ منك الأول ال permission تأخذ منك الإذن to store your information in their databases. However, security purposes don't need your permission. لكن لو الأمر ده security ف we don't need your permission مش محتاجين منك ال permission question number three everybody is concerned about their privacy كل إنسان مهتم بال privacy خلي بالنا يا شباب لما بنبدأ بكلمة everybody بنجيب كلمة there نعتبرها كأنها جمع 
everybody is concerned about their privacy on the internet and social media. كلنا مهتمين بالبرايفسي. علشان كده people can protect themselves by uploading zero personal photos. لو انت قدرت upload zero, zero personal photos or at least لو مش هتقدر limit the number of photos especially those with your name. Limit the number of photos you upload on the internet. حاول ان انت limit تحدد او تقلل من عدد الصور اللي انت upload on the internet especially with those related to your name or to your age. خاصة الصور المرتبطة بالنيم وبالاج. Okay, let's go on. Like this, we came to the end of this lesson. Thank you very much. I hope to subscribe to my channel so you can hear to the notification. شكرا جدا يا شباب. لو في أي ملاحظات, you can write your uh, observations or write your suggestions or recommendations in the comment. عندك أي ملاحظات أي اقتراحات اكتبها لي في الكومنت. Thank you very much. Goodbye.